Fun Fishing is brought to you by Fisherman's Warehouse, Double X Tackle, and Vance's Tackle. Alan, remember when I had the Superman shirt on and I tried to outfish it? Oh yeah, it didn't work. Well, look at this. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Fun Fishing, plus you got it on back. Right, yeah, fish on! <laughs> Fishing is fine, but catching fish is funner. Oh, when fish it's hot, to with the spring of summer. From Sacramento to River to the San Francisco Bay, we're gonna show you how to catch some fish today. Salmon, bass, or trout, halibut's what it's all about. Stripers on the Delta. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. It's on. Alright. Let's go, fishing! Fishing is fun, but hooking is the only way. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today. Alright, we launched out of Martinez today, went underneath the Venetia Bridge. Right up alongside the Mothball fleet, and now we're up here looking for sturgeon. What we're looking for are two to six, eight fish on the screen within a 50 yard area or so. We're going to find something to anchor up on. Um, over here, we got a fish. This is a faint mark here. Is that a little black bump? That's, that's a sturgeon? That's a sturgeon there. They mark just like your rock wood or you know, just a little hump on the bottom. So, there's a good mark there. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that what that is there? Yep, that's yeah. a good mark. What's above it right that's there? That's also a sturgeon mark, and they mark like that also. Okay. Like I say, we're going with the direction of the current. Um, the reason why, because sturgeon have a tendency to go with the current. Okay, they're real lazy fish. So the reason for us going with the current, we're going to get our marks. We're going to go below them, anchor up, and wait them out. You know, sturgeon fishing's a slow game. You're the jumper. Um, so there's another mark. We're getting in the ballpark, guys. Well, this is looking good, Warren. We're coming into the area, marking a lot of fish here. We've got one right on the bottom, one just off of the bottom, and you know, a couple more rags after that. So this is what I'm looking for for this being middle of fall. Again, we're looking for pods of fish. Unlike the winter time, we're looking for one or two marks. Since it's fall, I'm looking for a pot of fish, and we seem to have found it. Welcome to Fun Fishing. I'm Warren Trumbly. Hi, I'm Alan Fong. We're aboard the right hook, and we're going to be doing some sturgeon fishing. As Jay showed us a little bit on our way out, we showed you the bridge, the boats, and we're actually over here in Susun Bay, and we're going to catch some sturgeon. Let's go fishing. I am. <laughs> Alan, can you explain the, the setup on the rods? What are we? What we're doing here? We're talking about the balance. Yeah, we're doing the balancing, you know, when you're sturgeon fishing, you're bait fishing. Mm -hmm. That's to put them on a, we got a balance beam here, and mm -hmm. the rods are free, so when the mm -hmm. fish will come up and bite, you'll see the sturgeon, they'll move your tip real slow, uh -huh. and then start to take it down, set it with everything you got. Okay, you have to set the hard on these fish? Yeah, hard, harder than you normally set. Okay. So if you set the hook and lose mm -hmm. the first one, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. you didn't set hard enough. Okay. So set it as hard as you can. Yeah. And we're using these... Yeah, they dig into the sand. We're fishing sandy bottom. You know, if you're okay. sturgeon fishing, you want to fish the sand and mud. Mm -hmm. And there's probably clam beds out here too. You okay. Know, if you know where they're at. Mm -hmm. And um, you want to use these. They hold the bottom a little better. Okay. So these kind of dig into the bottom and, and hold it. Okay. And and we have the incoming tide right now, as Alan, as uh, as Jay was talking about. Yeah. Okay. And then we just wait for the rods to. Sturgeon fishing has always been like a slow man's weight like in the river but out here i hear the bite's pretty good so okay we so, so we don't get to nap during the show today okay you can <laughs> okay all right well let's watch your rods go all right so you let it go down or when they pop it you strike it no we let them pull it down let it pull it down you know 
usually I'll pull the rods up a little bit. And, you know, when they take about a foot, and then we just lay into them. Turn it around! Hurry up! Set it! There you Good go. Job. You got him. <laughs> yeah. Ha, go, Ward. Ha. Wow, that's a nice one. Slow down a little bit. Take your time. Keep rolling. Oh. Get the gas. <laughs> That's a heavy one. Oh, no, come on. Huh? That's a big keeper there. Huh? Hey, no keeper. Is it pulling? Here we go. It's pulling. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking the line out. He's all right. <laughs> Whoa. Just real, don't pump on him. Okay. That's a lot of work. <laughs> you back his drag off a little? <laughs> Hold on. He's blowing. He's a nice one. Go over here. Yeah. All the way back. It's a big fish. <laughs> Can't believe that, Alan. <laughs> you got one. <laughs> Yo, know, you said I could only have the one rod. You had the other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I get. <laughs> He got this rod. That's what I get. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you got a nice one. Just hold on. <laughs> what do you got? Look at that. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Right. Good yeah, job. Yeah, you got one. Come on, guys. Okay. Yeah. That's what they look like. There's a start. Wow. Good job, Warren. Hey. Hey. <laughs> there we go. Nice 54, 55 inch fish. What's the keeper size? 46 inches is the minimum length up to 72. All, All right. right. been here 10 minutes at two bites. What oh. fish? Wow. Awesome. That's, That's all right. There you go. Fish. Fun Fishing is brought to you by Double X Tackle, Fisherman's Warehouse, and Vance's Tackle. I'm over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <he> <laughs> Were you on the hook again? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I know you like this. Yeah. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. <laughs> well, well, what's that? Hey, Warren, that's yours. Nice fish. <laughs> oh, come on now. <laughs> You're just being kind to me this time. <laughs> You gotta be careful when you're handling these little guys here. Uh huh. They will mess you up pretty good. Yeah, a lot of those fish you see the diamonds on the side. Yeah. They'll oh. twist and roll your line and break your leader. Oh, look at that. That's real spiny. Oh yeah. Wow. They'll cut your these line. fish are coming out of deep water somewhere. Most likely, Meeks Hole down below us. Here we go. There you go, Alan. Here's the one you caught. <laughs> That's warm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where, where's my wood? Well, let's compare the two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> day ain't over yet. Oh, day's not over. Okay. So, Jay, when you're out here sturgeon fishing, I know fishing in a river in the past, I'd wait all night for one or two bites. But this is a little different over here, isn't it? It is. You know, usually an outing, you know, early fall, like we are here, you're fishing for up to 15, 20 bites. You know, a lot of people don't believe it, but, you know, I've had up to 15, 20 fish days. Mm -hmm. That's unusual because normal sturgeon guy goes out, fish all night, you might get one or two bites. Right. But this time of the year, you know, it's awesome fishing. A lot of people want to wait until the water gets real muddy, and it's really the wrong thing to do. Fish mm -hmm. the tides, and you can catch them year-round if you wanted to. And we got to get back fishing because Warren got me right now. <laughs> <laughs> and he's watching all my poles. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh! What, you get a fish? Oh, baby, I got him. All right. What do you have, Alan? Sturgeon. All right. This you one. Bigger? This is a good one. Is it? Yeah. You're putting the heat on, huh? Yeah, yeah. I don't mess around. <laughs> oh, bigger.
Like the same one I caught last time. <laughs> oh, you're two equal to the size of Warren. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to have to get on the ball here. <laughs> well, Warren just lost one where we needed to lose one. We uh, broke one off and almost had a double. Yeah. What a double. Hey, Warren, let's show our viewers what we're doing today with the tackle. Okay. Um, you got to have a pretty stout rod. Fast taper. These are graphite composite. Okay, these are real heavy. Yeah, you have these to are... you have to be able to hold up to like eight, ten ounces of weight. So okay. you got to have some meat to the rod. Mm -hmm. You got to have a real light tip. One thing about sturgeon fishing, they bite so light. Okay. So you have to watch your rod tip. So you want something with a real light tip. Mm -hmm. The reel has to carry about 400 yards of line. How much? About 400. That's a lot of line. That's a lot of line. These are yeah. these are big rods. When you hook okay. a good one, mm -hmm. he's gonna just smoke that line out. You'll think you have your line tied on a bumper. So you gotta have okay. line capacity. Okay. This reel, this 700 here, and it's got about yeah. 400 yards of 25 on it. Yeah, this is a Shimano 700. Correct. You can bring in anything with 25. You know in 400 doing. yards? You need 65, but this is my pole. <laughs> yeah, all right. 25. Okay. <laughs> What is that, Alan? These are grass shrimp. Grass shrimp. This is what everybody used to fish with. That's edible. Grass isn't it? shrimp, ghost shrimp, eel, okay. that type. Those are sturgeon baits. That's sturgeon bait. This okay. is the candy right here. Okay. Okay. This over here. Mm -hmm. This is your candy. That's right here. salmon roe. The salmon roe. This is uh -huh. the, you know the skein. So we're baiting up here. Put it around the hooks and just wrap it any way you can. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people want to make sure that row stays on. I feel it does a better job when the row is actually... It rips yeah. on. See how he's wrapping the thread on real loose? Mm -hmm. If you pull it too tight, it'll rip the skein and all the eggs will fall off. Ah, okay, so you just wrap it Just like loose. steelhead fishing, just mm -hmm. bigger hooks. Okay. <laughs> bigger fish. Yeah. He's onto the rod and then... Sliding sinker. Sliding sinker, okay. Let him take it a little bit, just like we're balancing for any kind of fish. Okay, so it's a balanced rod, the balanced beam technique? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we use that for other types of fishing, yeah, too. Striper, steelhead, okay. catfish. Oh, anything, gosh. Anytime you bait fish, balance here so the fish don't steal you. Okay. So we're going to put shrimp on yours, and I'm putting the candy on mine. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back after this message. Fun Fishing is brought to you by Fisherman's Warehouse, Double X Tackle, and Vance's Tackle. Uh-oh. I'm getting this in. He's, he, he ain't very big. No, nah, we're in. It's a sturgeon. Yeah. That's a sturgeon there. Yeah. On the hook again. Yeah. All right. This, this one's a nice one. Hey. Now we got a nice one. Hey. Huh? <laughs> 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 yeah, it's a sturgeon. Sure about that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It looks like a keeper too, doesn't it? Yeah. Feel pretty good, Alan? Yeah. <laughs> Non-stop action on the right hook. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we start blowing. What uh, these certain do when they get tired, uh -huh. you fight them for a while, they're going to start blowing. And what the ABC, big bubbles, you're going to start coming up here. It's pretty good. Uh-huh. Alan's put a lot of pressure on this fish with this gravy. There he's blowing now. Yeah. It's a big fish. It's a okay. real big fish. Well, he's doing this. We could be fishing. <laughs> I would be. This is heavy. <laughs> See what happened there? Mm -hmm. The fish is rolling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it feels like you lose him every time. Yeah. So all you can do is just keep reeling or just hold on. Uh huh. He's getting close. Ooh. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Especially if it's a big fish, the quicker you get her into the boat, yep. the better off you're going to be. Don't hurt her. The longer you fight a fish, the more she's going to... I think it's up. bigger than I think. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're pumping on her. Get real close here. Okay. Here you oh, go. Oh, oh, man. Look at that. Big keeper. This is a keeper. About a 65-incher. Yeah. Nice so we're going to turn this. Okay. Go. 
All right. All right. Nice Get fish. Get her back in the water pretty quick. There she goes. Nice. Pretty warm. Yeah. That's sturgeon fishing. <laughs> First, I was so. sweating it that you had the bigger one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's three for me. Uh, I know. I, I'm going to have to catch a bigger one now. <laughs> well, I'm going to get a striper now. Oh, okay. <laughs> back to back to more. Let's fun go fishing. back. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Come on, reel. Reel. Look at how crooked you're turning. Oh, I'm going to hold that rod up straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he started a fight, really. Come on. Hurry up. Okay. No, All right, I'll reel him in. Getting bigger or what? Oh, nice keeper. That's a nice one. Okay. Um, that's a great fish. Yeah. I think well, that's I can, a keeper. I tell you. I think we've had a, a good day of fishing, yeah, haven't we? Yeah, we? we had a great day. We've been out here with uh, Jay Lopes with the right hook, sturgeon fishing. We've still got a couple lines in the water. We've caught a lot of fish. Yeah. This is the sixth sturgeon that we put in the boat. Yeah. So. Oh, oh, oh no. my gosh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Big oh. fish on. <laughs> hey, we can't even wrap up the show. <laughs> okay. Oh, he oh, came off. Oh, yeah. Dog. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Well, what happened? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, well. Well, anyway, as we were saying, we've had a great day fishing here with, uh, with Jay on the right, right hook. hook. Yeah. And, uh, and Alan, we've been using roe. Salmon and roe. Mm -hmm. And uh, we did do some of the, the grass shrimp, but the roe All just, the bites came on a roe. Yeah. So, we've had a great time, and... Uh, yeah, six sturgeon, a couple stripers. Couple you got that one big striper. One big one, yeah. Heck of a day. So, well, and, uh, you know, we've tried to show everybody exactly how to do it during the show. Mm -hmm. And uh, and if you want to go out with Jay, I mean, He's this guy knows, contact. Yeah, he knows how to put you on fish. Yeah, he does. Okay. Well, and it's always better to go out with someone like him, you know, mm -hmm. so you learn the right way. Yeah. Well, come back and join us next week on Fun, Fun Fishing. Fishing. Fishing is fun, but catching fish is funner. Whether it's autumn, winter, spring, or summer. From Sacramento River to the San Francisco Bay, we're gonna show you how to catch some fish today. Salmon, bass, or trout, halibut is what it's all about. Stripers on the Delta. Alan help yeah. <laughs> Our camera guy was out fishing the other day and he fell out of the boat, he couldn't get back in. The best way to do it is swim back to the back of the boat. Okay. Put your feet on there. That trim button right here. Right here. Trim it up. Woo there you go. Climb in. That's how you get back in the boat if you ever had to. Now if wow. he could do it, anybody could do it. <laughs> Use your motor, trim it back up, and you just climb right in. Alan! Alan, wait for me! Fishing is fun, but hooking is the only way. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today.